my name's Cassius Rayner, and this series is all about mobile filmmaking and using Filmic Pro. So let's dive straight in. So in this episode, we're going to take uh, a deep dive look at how uh, the color grading was done using the Filmic Pro raw footage, uh, editing in Final Cut Pro X, and using a really interesting uh, software, new software, it was my first time to explore this software called Film Convert, um, which I downloaded onto Final Cut Pro and had some great fun mixing and coloring using the software. So let's take a look at what that is and what it's all about. So let's dive in and have a look at some footage. So the first thing we're gonna check out is film convert, place that onto the timeline over the clip that you want to correct. Click up in the right side window for the settings. Then obviously uh, we check through, change it to the actual camera recorded with, i.e. the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Connecting the Log V3 because that's what we recorded the log capture on. Then on this particular scene I took down the grain strength to 40, and the same with the grain saturation. Um, I like a little bit of grain in, in the shot, um, but it was a little bit on the heavy side, so just reducing that a bit. It was still a bit warm for me, so I brought the temperature down to around minus 28. And then it was still a little bit hot for me on the bright side, so using the curves, um, I then just brought that down very subtly, just enough to take away the sort of hot spots within the shot. So once I did all that, went over to saturation on the color board on FCPX and brought that down to minus, brought that down to minus 40 or thereabouts, 42. Exposure again, just wanted to drop it a fraction on the highlights, so pull that down by minus seven. And then that is the end result. So that's the color I was pleased with using the, the Kodak film simulation. Copy and paste the actual add-ons, the additions, um, paste the attributes, film convert, the color board so that I can match the shots and the color. And that's it. So this gives you an idea of the before and after. So once using Film Convert from the original 10-bit Filmic Pro, this, that's the end result. Now for cafe scene, uh, obviously the setup uh, is different because of lighting. So again, go through the process of uh, adding the film convert. For this, uh, it was a little bit on the orange side for me. Um, a lot of that was to do with um, one of the large lights that we used, a 2K light uh, blonde, um, which was still pumping off a bit too warm. Now again, because we were shooting inside with the lighting setup different, um, I had to bring down the, the gain, strength and saturation just because the grain, sorry, should I say the grain strength and saturation just because it was a bit on the heavy side um, in the darker areas um, of the shadows. So again, just adjusted the saturation levels on the color board. Again, on the curves again it's just a bit on the hot side and I wanted it to be a little bit darker and that's kind of it and now you've got the before and then the after using 
log capture on Filmic Pro and using Film Convert. So one final point about color grading. I mean, you can have a lot of fun, obviously, with it in post-production. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you shot it well, then you'll always be happy and satisfied with the results that you can get from it. But that's the key point because I'm a big believer in how you shoot and how you actually record the footage originally does have the impact on how you color grade it. And it can go wrong if you don't do it correctly. So my tip is, obviously white balance is really, really key when you're out filming. And I would suggest that you remind yourself on every time you change a location, whether you're inside a building, outside a building, in a corridor, and then change to a room, always, always check your white balance and record. If you, if you can do it, use a, uh, a color chart like this, uh, which also has your grays and your whites. And if you can just record a few seconds of that, it is going to help you with the color grading in post-production. Now, if you don't have access to something like this, then seriously, use anything that's just white. Record that white uh, with your white balance, make sure it looks really pure white on your camera, obviously on your phone screen, uh, and then you'll be uh, happier with the results in post-production. So even if you have to use polyboard, whatever, even film a white t-shirt, if you've not actually got, ended up with any white card or anything white to look at on location, you know, maybe hopefully someone's got a white t-shirt, point the camera at them, and actually record that white. When it looks pure white on the white balance, then you know that you're good to go. Okay, if you haven't checked out Filmic Pro, please do so on the App Store or Google Play. Check out their website, lots of fantastic information on there. Check out the LUTs and the new LUTs that they've got for the 10 bit, um, which are really great, and you should check those out as well. Okay, again, I really, really, really enjoy you guys watching. Uh, these videos it means a lot to me we work very hard to make these videos happen for you and to share our knowledge and experience with you so stay tuned for the next video cheers